New convoys of refugees, previously trapped by the last of the fighting, have joined the desperate flight from Kraina. The colleague who picked up the phone just burst into tears. It was the most awful day. And a BBC reporter, John Schofield, has been killed by Croatian fire. On the day that John died, he and I had breakfast together. He did everything right. He wasn't out on his own on some crazy escapade. We were sitting in the hotel restaurant in Zagreb. He was so energetic, enthusiastic, uh, desperate to make his mark. And we found out that there was only one seat left in the BBC armoured Land Rover. He always wanted to be there, to witness the event as it happened. We decided to toss a coin for it, and John won. And a few hours later, he was dead. A BBC reporter, The World Tonight's John Schofield, has been shot dead by Croat soldiers. There are conflicting reports... On After John was killed, I was deluged by letters of condolence, all saying what a rising star he was in the news industry. John didn't know that. And I felt that no young journalist should ever be in that position. John went to his grave at the age of 29, not knowing how well respected he was. The impact on all the people that had been Chinese with him was enormous because we just couldn't believe he was gone. It was a life that was full of promise, that was full of love. He adored Susie and was looking forward to their life together. And to just see that so dramatically cut short in such an untimely manner really pulled me up short. Sarajevo has stayed comparatively quiet this morning, apart from the occasional crack of a sniper's bullet. He'd already been a reporter with ITN and with the BBC, uh, BBC Radio, though I'm sure he would have come back to telly. He was too good looking just to stay in radio. The authorities have won what they most wanted, and that's time in which to organise against the fundamentalists. John was just the kindest, most thoughtful, most lovely man, really, uh, and he massively helped me and gave me hugely valuable advice. And, I rem or will always remember him for that. John's death knocked us all for six. The sheer senselessness of his loss has never gone away. But through his family and through the trust, his influence lives on. I really wanted to make sure that John's legacy would be a positive one rather than one of absolute loss. The work of the John Schofield Trust is bringing young men and women from all communities to our newsrooms, vibrant voices, and the industry wouldn't be the same without them. So out of this extraordinary tragedy, and I remember it really shaking things to its core back in the mid nineties, out of that tragedy, now we see in all of our newsrooms, some fruit of the enormous progress that Susie made in John's wake. And that is why I, like so many of my colleagues, are really proud to be able to support it.